Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's Final Fantasy Channel here. So I wanted to talk about uh, my impressions of Final Fantasy 16 now that I'm playing through the game a second time. Uh, I know some people have been asking my impressions of it, and I just wanted to say a couple things here. So let's talk about uh, my first playthrough here. Um, during, when I was doing my first playthrough of Final Fantasy 16, uh, I thought everything was great. Uh, I, was, I loved absolutely everything. And I think uh, the ending rating I gave it was like a 15 out of 10. Uh, but to be honest, the you during your first playthrough of a video game that you're very passionate about, it, you can become blind to all the bad things about the game. So let's talk about the good parts of the game first. The Okay, well, first of all, the best part about the Final Fantasy 16, without a doubt, is the icon fights and the big boss battles. I mean, these icon fights are fucking amazing. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable what kind of shit they were able to pull off, especially with uh, Titan, uh, Bahamut, uh, the final boss battle, of course. Odin was pretty cool. Not to mention the music is also amazing. Uh, the graphics, of course. Oh, not to mention the combat is is fun as hell. <laughs> now let's talk about the uh, bad parts of the game. One of the bad parts about Final Fantasy 16 is the side quests. I did notice that after the after like halfway through the game or something like that, um, the side quests started to become long. It, it just felt long, you know. Uh, there's way too much dialogue in my opinion, uh, there's too much talking to people. Um, at the very end of the game, the side quests got a lot better actually because of how emotional they made it, and uh, uh, like all the NPC characters, and because we worked with them for so long, and uh, I thought it was actually a lot better than the rest of the game at the, at the very end, but um, at the beginning and at, during the middle parts of the games, uh, the side quests were just, like, they're not worth doing. I mean, you... or the, Well, they're worth the doing because of the EXP, but they're not worth watching again. Like, you, you, you just feel like you just skip them, you know? Not to mention that a lot of the main quests are the same. I mean, uh, there's... Of course, you go through the main story, and you're, as you're progressing, you, uh do, like, you know, side quests in the main quest, where you're just talking to people, and, uh, you just gotta, you're just watching everybody speak to each other, and it's just, it, it's so long. However, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game if it wasn't long, you know? Final Fantasy kind of has a reputation of it being, like, the, trying to make it as long as possible. But I just wish that there were better ways of making ga the game longer than, uh, how they did. So let's talk about uh, the combat in Final Fantasy 16. Now, Final Fantasy 16 combat is fucking great, um, but it's another one of those things that become, get, can become repetitive at the end. Granted, you get uh, all these new icon abilities, um, like uh, near the end, like Shiva and Odin, um, Bahamut. Uh, yeah, it's, you get you get different icons as you progress throughout the game, which is great. I just wish that the later icons were stronger once you got them. Because, to be honest, I think Titan and Bahamut were the strongest icons. And with how they were setting up the game with uh, Shiva and Odin, I do like Shiva's ability to uh, stagger. However, Odin is not great at all. I mean, Odin looks cool as hell when you do, do the abilities. I mean, <laughs> it's so it's so fucking epic, but at the same time, it just does no damage. And so it's just not worth using. And to be honest, you would think Odin would be the best one, <laughs> because it's the last one. But to be honest, Odin is kind of the worst one. There was also another thing that I thought was... Uh, it was good in 16, but I wish it was better. And that was the open world. So, the thing is that Final Fantasy XV's open world 
is so huge that I, I loved it so much. I mean, I love to explore, I love that all the side quests were at the beginning, middle-ish of the games, and then you could uh, progress with the main story at the end. And that, that was another, th actually the, another thing about 16, because while you do, while the side quests are a little bit spread out in 16, um, every, all the side quests, there's a lot of side quests that come at the very end of the game, which is fine, but to be honest, I prefer it was like 15 instead of 16. Like, once I get, once I got to like, I think it was like the 97% of the way through the game, I just wanted to finish the game. Like, I wanted to know what happens at the end. And when all the side quests popped up, I kind of felt like I was forced to do them. I mean, of course you don't have to do them if you don't want to. But it's, it was just that, that feeling of like, it's like, oh, shit, man, now I gotta do this and do this, you know? Hunts were not the problem. Uh, it was just the side quests. Not to mention, 15's open world is so huge that it's it's so fucking great, especially when you get to go from the open world into the caves, and uh, not to mention the towns, even though there's really only one town, the Stalem, all the rest are, and Golden Key, and I don't, I'm not sure if I consider that a town, but uh, it was still so fucking great. Like, I, lo I love 15's open world and everything. Now, I love 16's open world, but the thing is, it's even though you get to travel, even though you get to explore different areas um, of the game as you progress throughout the game, the areas are not that big. It's it's pretty linear, actually. And, uh, see, the, I, I don't really care for it too much. I wish, I, I wish it was more open. I really do. Like a, like a huge zone, like 15. Because that's what made it so great. And that's probably what's going to make it so great in 7 Rebirth. The, the thing about linearity is I didn't mind I didn't mind it in 13. Like, or I mean, I'm playing 13 right now, and so I don't mind it in 13. Because you got to remember that 13 is a PS3 game. You don't really expect that kind of thing. Uh, like a huge open world in PS3 games or PS2 or maybe even PS4 sometimes. I mean, there are a few exceptions like Ghost of Tsushima, God of War, and everything, but... Now that, now that this Final Fantasy XVI is a PS5 exclusive game, I would, to be honest, I was kind of expecting it, you know? I kind of had, like, high expectations, like there was going to be, like, a huge open world, I guess, like, maybe Elden Ring or something. I mean, I didn't want it to be, like, where you could... I didn't want it to be like Elden Ring, where you could just do whatever you wanted at any time, but... I wanted it to be I wanted it to be linear from when you could do move from one quest to another. Um, you could do all the side quests you wanted, but in a huge zone like 15. That's what I wanted. And with 16, I just it's it's not it's not one of my favorites in the game. I'm sure other people would uh, disagree with me, and I totally understand. But for me, it was 16 was just too linear. So everybody's wondering what my overall rating for this game is, um, and I know I've been saying like different numbers throughout the streams and everything, but I'm gonna give my true rating here on on YouTube. So to be honest, <sighs> the difference is I, before I was saying that 16 was better than 7 remake, but that was like I said that was my first impression. I was kind of like. I was kind of blind in a way, <laughs> and now that I've had, now that I'm playing through the game again, there are definitely some elements where 16 is better than 7 Remake, but there are definitely some elements where it's the opposite. So the thing with 7 Remake is it does everything perfectly. Like all the bad stuff about Final Fantasy 16, I never really felt in 7 Remake. I mean, the side quests are amazing. The uh, well, the other thing I was talking about, the combat. I mean, you you never feel bored uh, when you, or re it's it's never repetitive when you're playing through it again. It's just, there's just something about that feeling, you know, where in Seven Remake, where everything's just so perfect. Final Fantasy X is always going to be my number one, and I know it before I said that Final Fantasy XVI it was my number two, but I have to change that to number three. Final Fantasy 7 VII and 7 VII Remake 
is my number two still. So Final Fantasy 15 was my number three, but I'd have to I'd have to make it probably like a tie between 15 and 16 as my number three. So my overall rating for this game for Final Fantasy 16 would have to be like uh, it's still a 10 out of 10, but to be honest, if it wasn't for the icon fights. It would have to be like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. I'm leaning more towards 7 to be honest. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I uh, really appreciate any subscriptions on YouTube or Twitch or follows or likes or whatever. <laughs> Tweets. Bings, whatever you call them.